this is how you get a very very heavy live steam train in the back of a standard saloon car now live steam these locomotives are very very expensive and they're extremely heavy uh, first of all the loco has been the tender's gone from the locomotive and that's in the boot the locomotive then sits on top of this metal uh, frame that clamps the wheels Now, to get it in the back of the car, obviously we don't want to mess our leather seats up. It's got to be solid, and it is solid. And the way we do it is we lift it in, we put it in this frame, this framework, and these pieces here, when you put it in, they open. There's two of those. There's also four little bolts. Can you see there? One, there's one over there, two, three, four. Once you slide the locomotive in the middle of this frame, you bolt it with these and then it holds it on so the loco can't go left and right or backwards and forwards. Turn those round, tighten them down like so and then the loco is solid so we can drive the car without worrying about if this is banging. This, this wooden platform has got little legs on both sides that sit down onto the seats and then it's got a massive leg under there in the middle that goes on the middle piece of the uh, footwell area and you've got it's padded it pushes up to the seats therefore it doesn't move and it turns into a very very stable platform for your live steam train when you want to take it steaming uh, and all the other stuff can go in the boot. The only disadvantage with this is you only get one passenger seat and one driver. You can't get nobody else in the car. Um, that's the only disadvantage. Um, so um, the missus has to stay at home and uh, me and my young son will go. So that's it.